Hello, we are here at Peter's Big Marine headquarter next to Geneva to speak about the forms or the symbols that watchmakers integrate into their models. So, let's see what are Peter's ones. Every watchmaker to a degree is like an artist. So, whatever they produce, if it is something which is authentic to who they are, is going to be something which is unique to them. In, in my work, I've always been heavily, been heavily influenced by classical watchmaking because I fell in love with watchmaking when I was working in, uh, in London, in Piccadilly. There's a number of reasons why my watches have the aesthetic that they, they do. The, one of the overriding aspects from a functional point of view are, the, are these massive shoulders with the large screws. So I devised a system which meant that there was a bar which was pivoted between these two shoulders. But for it to be strong and for it not to be bent or damaged and for it to always survive time, it had to be large. The center of the watch, this like drum, uh, drum effect, that was inspired by early marine chronometry. And when I started to design my own watches and starting with the foundation watch, the emphasis was on the movement and then the case was simply a means to clothe the movement, as with an early marine chronometer. So you combine this drum, this dressing for the movement, with the shoulders and then a very pragmatic, large, functional, uh, onion-style winding crown, and, uh, and the Piccadilly case was born. The topping tool, which I used to make my first watch, is kind of an epitome of, of what watchmaking is. It's something which has a function, but beyond the, the mechanical function, it's a thing of beauty. I love the, um, I love the form because it was pulled. I just get pulled into the form. There's something organic about it. It's not rigid. It's not, it's not just purely functional, but it's something which has an aesthetic look to it. It is in every watch that I make today, and I will make in the future, and it is in 95% of everything that I've made up until now. The hands. The, the hands that you mentioned, we call them the foundation hands, because they were originally developed in the, again, in the pocket watch but I didn't actually know what it was going to look like, literally until I finished. And when it came to the hands, because of the classicism of my influences, I had this idea of poker and beetle hands, which really stemmed from watches back in the 18th century. And as I was retouching the hand, what started off as a spade, then began to take the form as of, of, of a heart. And that was not premeditated, that just happened, that evolved. This was my rites of passage, proving to myself that as a watchmaker, I wasn't only able to make my own watch, but I could design something of beauty, something which was beautiful to my own perception of what beautiful was.